using the Evernote iPad app. Once you have signed in, you will see your account information here. Pressing on your name will bring up some system settings. These arrows show you what it is synchronizing. Create a, a quick text note, camera note, access your photos, set a reminder, create a list. Shortcuts are also useful to um, notebooks that you use frequently. If you go ahead and add them to your shortcuts, they're available on any device you log into. Once you're logged in, you're going to do some uh, count adjustments. Press on your name to reveal settings. In settings, you will press on customize home screen. You may adjust the theme to whatever that you like. Here in the sections, you can turn off certain things that you do not want to see. If you want to turn off personal tags, simply press on the red circle. You'll see a delete button and that will allow you to delete it. Also under settings, you're going to press on general and then you'll press on camera and you'll adjust that so that it is either large or medium. This changes the size of the pictures that you take and also will then make the size of your notes much smaller. The iPad takes very large pictures so setting it to medium is a good idea. If you find that those pictures are too small, adjust it to large. Also under settings, pressing on general and then press the Evernote email address. This will reveal the screen here and I want you to add that to contacts. This allows you to actually email any email or website um, right to Evernote by sending it to that address. Every user has a unique address. Also under settings, press on premium and then offline notebooks. Students should set this so that all notes are downloaded. This gives you offline access to when you do not have an internet connection. A note about shared notebooks. They're not available offline. New notebooks. If you press on the notebook button, you will then see a new notebook. Students only create personal notebooks. Teachers um, can create personal notebooks or business notebooks. Important note is to note that notebooks type cannot be changed once they're created. You'd need to move any notes in the notebook to a different notebook before deleting the notebook and then remaking the correct type. So when in doubt, use a personal notebook. Personal notebook stays with the user and business notebooks stays with Durham Academy. Some tags and other organization tips. In a note, you can press on more information and add tags. Tags also um, move between um, devices, so if you're on a computer, they will show up there as well as on the iPad. You can also change notebooks simply by clicking on the name of the notebook. You can search notes, add attachments, even set a reminder. Remember, you only need to make a tag once as it does sync between devices.